Okay, so on today's episode, we're actually... <laughs> we're going to talk about real life stuff. Yeah. Today we're going to talk... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's hey. up, YouTube? Smash that like and subscribe button, fans. We are actually talking about microphones. Not just any microphone. Actually, just, just any microphone. microphone. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Um, and why this wow. is so special. So let's uh, let's go in the studio and let's talk. What's so special about this? So this SM7B has been modified with an answer preamp. So that's just 25 dB of gain, really transparent, clean gain before you even hit your preamp. And it's built into the microphone. So for those who don't know, why why do we need something like that on an SM7B? Because SM7B has super low output compared to other dynamic microphones. You kind of miss that line level from your preamp. Most preamps don't have enough gain. So getting that gain before you even hit your preamp lowers your noise floor. You get a more usable signal without having to work your preamp. All the good stuff you want out of your preamp, you get it because you don't have to work so hard. So essentially you're turning your SM7B into something that you don't have to crank because there's a noise floor, right? Exactly. So yeah, so in speech like podcasts, or any kind of voiceover work, um, you want your noise floor to be super quiet. And so if you can do that before you even hit your, your DAW, you don't have to do any plugins to lower the noise floor to fix it. It's already the perfect signal that you want. And it's nice because your version has a built-in switch where you can activate it and deactivate it, right? Exactly, yeah. So you don't have to unplug your device and replug your microphone. It's in the mic. It's just a little boom. You don't even have to turn off phantom power. Mm -hmm. So before you would have to have, we've all seen them like the cloud lifters. Yeah, the cloud and, lifters. And other companies like Soyuz makes one as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this takes out, this means you just plug your microphone right in and you don't have to have anything in line. Exactly. It's all there. And you also kept the normal uh, switching, right? So yep. you have your high. You got a high pass filter and you got a little presence boost, which is the standard SM7B switches that you see on the back of the microphones. And so that's all still there. So you can have it operate like the normal SM7, the classic sound, or you can have a little preamp built in. Pretty nice. We're going to try to A, B it because we've got a normal S. Well, I think that's an actual SM7. It is an SM7, which is awesome. So that's an SM7. This is the B, meaning the newer iteration. Exactly. But this, you're calling it the answer. Answer. Yep. So we're gonna we're just gonna A B this so through. we can see. Oh, I get it. We're Sorry. gonna A B these so we can see why this is so cool. Yep. I used to have a cloud lifter. I don't have a, one anymore because I have this. This is mine. This is number one. Boom. Um, it is. Uh, let's let's get to the uh, A B comparison. Here goes. So right now I've got the SM7 into the Apollo, which means if I wanted to, I could do um, I could insert you know, compression into it. But for the sake of this test, I'm gonna put nothing in line whatsoever and just have it be clean. So we're actually gonna do a test of the SM7, the SM7B without the answer on, and then a test with the answer, and we're gonna ABC them. This is like straight from Sure's website of why you want more gain okay. for your SM7B. The typical speech level at three inches, the output level of the SM7 is minus 69 dB. V. So what that means to get it up to line level, which is zero dBV, you have to increase the gain of your preamp by 60 dB, which is a lot and not a lot of preamps can do that. This is not on the website. And when you get up that high, the noise floor increases. So if you increase your mic, um, your SM7B by 60 dB, you're still at minus nine dB because the output of the SM7 at speech level from three inches away is minus 69. So you have 90 dB still left to get to line level. And that's where a preamp before your preamp comes in handy. It's interesting to me too, because most people that you, like when I use an SM7, mm -hmm. I'm like right up on the thing. I'm like right, right here. They're really great for aggressive stuff. Sure. But they're made as a broadcast mic. Exactly. So it's like, you're usually just talking, but everybody that you see using them, is right up on the grill. Right. So, that doesn't really check out. I mean, three inches is like, you're- Well, you're that close because you wanna get more output. Right here. And so you have yeah. to be unnaturally close to your microphone. Yeah, but is it, so. 
I was wondering what that sound oh, yeah, was. Yeah, that was kind of cool. It was like, yeah, it was like, like ooh. I'm usually singing like this. Yeah. But they're saying, like, sing more like this. No, they were just giving an example of the output level of the SM7. I see. Not okay. like the preferred technique. Gotcha. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I thought it was like a technique thing. So, okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna record a, just a speech vocal, and then we're gonna A, B in. Let's do it. All right, here goes. This is a noise floor test of the SM7 through the Apollo. And this is the SM7B noise floor test with the answer disengaged. Finally, this is a noise floor test of the SM7B with the answer engaged through the Apollo. We stepped it down 20 decibels exactly. of input gain. Right. Which inherently no lowers the noise. It's 20 dB less noise. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you can get rid of that noise as soon as possible, then it just unlocks your microphone and you don't have to even think about noise level at that point with this microphone. All right, so that concludes our test of the SM7, SM7B, and the answer. I think this is a killer product that Ezra is offering us. And it gets better because for a limited time, you can actually go to his website and buy the kit uh, or the mic that he was just talking about for 10% off. Um, all you have to do is put in Aaron10 at the checkout on the discount code. That's A-A-R-O-N-1-0. And you're going to get 10% off this awesome microphone. This is really handy. I do a lot of voiceover work for film. And oftentimes I'm having to use Isotope RX to get rid of the noise floor uh, from these. And this kind of solves that problem for me. Um, especially if you're going through, like uh, Ezra said, if you're going through a lot of outboard gear, you're just, in, you're just introducing more noise. So I think this is killer. And I, I think this is something that a lot of people could really use in their studio. So huge thanks to Ezra. I love what he's doing. He's a brilliant creative, making some really cool things. I know it's been a little while since I have done an update. I have been pretty busy and hopefully soon I will have an update for everyone about what's going on, what I've been up to these past you know couple of months and what's what lies ahead. If you actually enjoyed this video, I would love a like. And if you wanna see more content, you can hit uh, subscribe. Just know that I appreciate you all very, very much. And if any of you live in the LA area, I will be visiting there just before Thanksgiving. So if you wanted to get together and hang out, drop a line in the comments section and maybe we can link up. All right, until next time. You've got questions, I just got answers. Boom. Will you say hit like and subscribe? Me? Smash that like and subscribe button, fans. Yeah. Boom.